So one of my clients came to me yesterday and asked, how do you send a bulk email to your list in high level or our version of high level group fuel? So I wanna take this video and I wanna walk you through the different methods that you can use to actually send bulk emails to your contacts. So let's head over to the computer and let's walk through each one of these. All right, so high level gives us a lot of different options to send emails to our list using the software. So the first question I want you to ask yourself to decide how we're gonna send this email is do we need this email to be designed, branded, and look pretty, or do we need to just send a text-based email? If you need it to be designed, you need it to be branded, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to have to do is come into marketing, go to emails, and then templates. This is where you can actually design your templates to your emails to look pretty, okay? So I'm gonna click this little blue button and I'm gonna click a blank template here. If you know code, you can use the code editor. If you are design, you don't know code, you can use the drag and drop design editor. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna come in here and you're going to design your email. I'm not gonna go through, this is not a tutorial on how to do this, but let's just say we wanted to have our logo at the top and I'm just gonna delete that. We would come in here and we could drag over an image to that little box there. So we have the logo there. And then underneath that is where we wanna have our text body. So I would drag this here and just delete this. And then we could drag a text area here. And that's just a simple email. Now, if you wanted to actually go ahead and create the copy for this email, so you can use it in like a workflow, then you would write the copy or an email series, you would write the copy out and then you could save it. And then you could probably, you know, give it a footer here. And, you know, that would be your basic template for sending out, you know, a typical email. So once you have that, you can save the template. And then that template can be used and sent in a lot of different ways, okay? So the next question you wanna ask yourself is, do I want to, now that you've got your template designed, okay, so the next question is, do I wanna send this as a one-off email or do I wanna to, want to send it as a series of emails? If you wanna send it as a one-off email, you have a lot of different choices with that, okay? So the first choice, the first way that we could do it is we could come into marketing, we could go to the email drop down here and we could click on campaigns. So from campaigns, we can actually come here and we can create an email campaign. So to do that, we're gonna click on the new button here and we would name our campaign, let's just call it test. We would select our, one of our templates that we created earlier. I'm just gonna go with this one. And then we can actually come in here, we can use the template, we can type in our text here and then we can actually send this to whoever we wanna send it to. So once we've got the email the way we want it, we're gonna click the send or schedule button and so this gives us, a, us a several different options on how to send this email. Do we want to send it now to all of our, to whoever we're sending it to? Do we want to schedule that out for a later date? Or do we want to kind of drip that out and batch send it over time? I'm not sure exactly what RSS schedule is. So let's just say we wanted to send it now. So you can put your sender information here. What, you know, what email this is coming from, who or the person, the name of the per that is that this is coming from, whether it's your business or your, or you yourself. You'd give it a subject line, the preview that's gonna show up like in the little preview area in their uh, email inbox. And then you can decide who you wanna send it to. Do you want to send it to just a couple of different contacts? So we could come in here and select those contacts that we want individually. Do we want to send this to a smart list? So in contacts, which we'll show you in a little bit, you can create and save smart lists so that you can send to, send to those people over and over again using different filters to create those smart lists. So we can select those smart lists here. Or we can actually, if we segment our lists using tags, we can select those different segments um, based on those tags by clicking on choose contacts from tags click the um, plus button here and then select the tags that we want to send this email to. So once you have that selected, um, you can just basically come in here, you can save it. So let me just do this, test at test.com, test and then subject line, and then I can hit the send button, okay? So that's the first way that we can send off a one-off email and you can use the templates to do that. The other way that you can send one-off emails is to go to the contacts area in the left-hand side here. 
And to do that, what we would do is we decide whether we want to send this to a smart list. Okay, so we can select our smart list here. These are ones that I've saved previously. To create your smart list, you can use the different filters over here. Let me go back to the full list. And you can create the, you can select different filters here. Let's say you wanted to use a tag and then you hit apply and that would create a smart list for you. And then you can decide whether you want to save it or not. You can save it as a smart list. I'm not going to save that. Uh, let's go back to this. And let's just say you wanted to send this to everybody in this smart list. Or let's just say we wanted to send it to all contacts. So what we would do is we would click the check mark at the very top here. And then this is going to send just to the records on this page. If we wanted to send all records, we would click the little blue link here. And then we would click this little send email icon. From here, we can basically click OK, proceed, and we can either select one of the email templates that we had created earlier, or we can just create our email directly from this little pop-up here. So we can choose the from name, the from email, the subject line, put our uh, the copy of our body of our email here. And then again, you can decide, do I wanna send this email all at once? Do I wanna send it at a scheduled time? Or do I want to send this in drip mode? Okay, so we're just going to do set schedule all at once. You always have to um, give this an action. So you have to tell it what it's doing. So let's just say, you know, broadcast email to all contacts. Okay, and then you could click send email. So that's one way to send a one-off email. And again, you can use the templates that you created earlier, or you can just write your email from in here. You can also create a workflow with a single email if you wanted to. So what we would do here, we would create workflow. We could start from scratch. And then the first thing you want to do is um, give it a name so you know what this email is about. And then you want to set your settings for your workflow. So if you want people to, if you want to be able to use this over and over again and let people come back into it, you would toggle that on. If you want um, the workflow to stop, if somebody responds to that, you would toggle that on. You could set the time zone time window that you want to go out, sender details here, and then you would actually start to build your workflow. So I'm just going to call this test one, and then we would add our e first email. So if we wanted to do one email, we would just add our email here. Uh, if you wanted to override the from name or from email from the settings area, you could actually, for this particular email, you could do that by putting your information in here. Give it a subject line. You could write the body of the email just within the email itself. Or again, we can use one of the templates we had created earlier, okay? So if you use one of the templates, it'll kind of take away the uh, little uh, editor here, but we can go back to the editor. So I'm gonna just say test and test, and then we could save our email. And then always make sure that you toggle your uh, your workflows on to publish so that you can actually access those workflows when you um, are selecting the workflow in the contacts area, which we'll show you in just a second. And we'll save this. And then, so if I wanted to send a e one-off email, I could do it this way and just add contacts to this workflow. If I wanted to create a series of emails, I would probably have a wait step in between my different emails. So I'd put the wait step here I, let's just say it's a one day, I want to wait, and then you can select the advanced window. So I only want to send it during these days of the week and only during this time of the day. So I could save that wait step, and then I would add my next email. So let's do email, and then um, again, we can override the settings, sender name and email here, give it a subject name, write your body of your email here, or again, we can choose one of our templates. So let's just go ahead. Let's, this time, let's choose a template. And then let's click Save. And again, make sure that our uh, workflow is toggled on to Publish. Click Save. And then we would go to actually send the email. What we would do is we'd go back to our contacts area. We would decide who we want to send it to. Let's actually choose a, uh, a smart list this time. Um, choose this. So again, I would select the top checkbox here. I would click the blue link to select all the records. And then this time I'm going to click on the robot icon. And then I'm going to click OK proceed. And then I would search for my workflow. And that's why we have to have the workflow live and published to be able to find it. So I'm going to go to test, test one. 
we do we want to send it all at once let's do a scheduled time this time so i'm going to start on wednesday the 14 the 29th at 9:43 a.m and then this is a broadcast test november 29 and then we click add to campaign and then it's going to add all those contacts to that workflow and then it's going to send that workflow out on november 29th at 9:43 p.m so or a.m so that is all the ways that we can actually send email to bulk email to our contact list in high level or in our case our group fuel crm if you have any questions on this please feel free to drop them below otherwise we'll see you next time